morning, good evening, good afternoon. I'm the Gentleman and welcome to another episode of the Gentleman's Pixel Club. Today we are taking this game, Jet Set Willy, on the ZX Spectrum and we're loading it into this mister that's running the ZX Spectrum Core using the tape drive that you see on the screen here. So we're physically going to be loading a tape into the mister. How does this work? On the mister you can see an audio input here and this audio input is non-standard. There's a little module that you get for this. And I have this on my main mister. I have two misters, one for downstairs, one for upstairs. But with this, we're going to load this tape driver into that port. So we plug it in and we take the cassette. These cassettes are 30 odd years old, if not more, maybe some are nearly 40 years of age. So they're not as well looked after as they used to be and you know deterioration does happen over time and this video is also going to teach you how to make a spectrum compatible digital file that you will be able to load in to your mister as well so you can then copy that to the sd card you can copy it to a digital tape recorder that i will be showing you very shortly and we'll take you through all the steps on how to do this what you can see at the moment is the game happily loading into the mister and jet set willy is on its way into the recreated ZX Spectrum on the Mr. FPJ using the module that you can see on the screen. This is not standard, as I say, you have an audio out on the Mr., but this audio in comes for a few bucks, a few quid, and it's just an additional module that you can plug into the system. The digital tape recorder that we are going to be using, you can see on the screen at the moment, this stores games, this stores whatever you choose to put on it on an SD card and it's going to be in TZX format and this is what we're going to be using for the game that you see loading at the moment. We're going to take this game and we're going to convert this game into this digital format to load in. I will take you through the steps in a moment here. I won't be showing a video of this but I will take you through the bits and pieces that we did to do this. So the game has now loaded that you can see on the screen and we need to now take the game now it's loaded and create a digital version because we've verified that it works. So what are the next steps? The first thing we do is we take our cassette recorder and we plug it into our PC. Here's a picture of my cassette recorder plugged into my PC with Jet Set Willy cassette already in and ready to go. On my PC and yours will be different. When you plug in a device to the mic input, it basically says, what do you want here? And I've chosen line in, even though it's a mic socket, it allowed me to pick line in because I figured that should be a standard crisp signal going in. And I accepted the defaults that we had on the screen that you can see here. As I say, your system will be different, but these are the system, these are the settings rather that I used. The next step is to run a program and I'm using Cool Edit 2000. And the purpose of this program is to capture the audio signal. You need to make a recording of the signal that you're going to save in a Creative Labs VOC format. These are the settings you need. I don't know what they're going to be like on your audio program, depending on what you use, but these are what I used to get the recording done. When the recording is completed and you've taken the sample using these settings, you will have what looks like this picture, this block graph on the screen at the moment. You can see where the header loaded and then you can see where it started to load the main game. You've got a little bit of noise at the beginning, a bit of noise at the end where it gets to the end of the cassette. But this is the actual recording of Jet Set Willy captured within Cool Edit. We then go to save this and we save it and it has to be saved as Creative Sound Blaster VOC format. And I called it JSW from tape. That was a good name for me, and if I'm going to do a few, I want a few master ones of this. I also want you to have a copy of this so that you can do the next bit and test and prove the next bit on your own. So the URL that you see on the screen right here, right now, this file is available for you to download. You don't need to do this creation part for you. I've done it for you. Then what you do is you load up Make TZX. This is a utility that will take a file, it will take a game file, a VOC file, and create it to a TZX file. 
and you can then copy this onto your digital tape recorder and load it. This is freely available on the internet. You basically download the GUI and you download the backend program, put them in the same folder and it works. A quick search will show you exactly where it is. It's not hidden from anybody. It's not hard to get hold of. It's just there everywhere. One point of note that I found when using this program was it didn't like spaces. So JSW from tape noticed that the, the spaces have been removed now because it just wouldn't accept it. And when you click on start, you get a screen like you see in the background. And this is the command prompt showing you that everything worked because essentially it is a command line program. And this is just a GUI front end that we use on top. And this has created the TZX file for us to put on our digital tape recorder. I then use a couple of tools. There's TZX a mini menu, which is part of the program I've just shown you. And there's Spectaculator, which is a great emulator for the Spectrum on the PC. What you can see on the screen here is me loading this file into both of those, just so I can see the contents of it to see whether it's a what I'm expecting. You know, I can see Jet Set for the program. I can see Bytes JSW1. That's very clear that this is captured and this has worked absolutely fine. So what I'm going to do now is load it in and I'm going to stop talking in a moment, but the video that in fact, the video is going to start playing now. And this is me loading in Jet Set Willy using the digital tape recorder. The steps I've just taken you, I haven't bored you by saying, here's the video of this, here's the video of that, here's the video of this. I wanted to do a quick and dirty few screenshots to take you through the steps and give you the physical file that I created but this is a great, fantastic way to preserve your original cassettes. If you're a huge fan of the ZX Spectrum like myself and you collect some of these cassettes, you know, this is going to be the, the way forward to stop you losing your data. It's going to be the way forward to stop you losing those valuable games because they are irrepla irreplaceable. Anyway, this has been a quick video, a strange video, because it's not one of the usual ones I do. But there is a reason for this. I'm going to be doing a series on cover tapes and some of these cover tapes you can't get, they exist, you can own the physical copies, but you can't download the created versions of this. So the whole purpose of me learning how to do this was so I could recreate some files that I actually needed for some future videos. However, in doing this, I thought, hell, why not? Let's share to the community for the people that don't know how to convert their Spectrum tapes to these files so they can play digitally. This is how to do it. Hope you've enjoyed the brief tutorial, the quick tutorial. I'm the gentleman, this is Jensen's Pixel Club, and I will see you next time. Goodbye.